We have uh, all of us have uh, our own unique way of doing ASMR videos, but what we have in common is that we do a lot of map related, geography related stuff. So it's really fun to see each of us how we handle, handle the challenges from each other. And uh, this is not an atlas I'm looking in right now. It's um, one of these uh, magazines you, you uh, read when you fly on a plane. I never care about the first 90% of the content. I, I just read the atlas bit. So, so far on this uh, journey we've been to Okoya, Nigeria, I think I'll zoom, zoom in a bit. We've seen Okoya, we've seen the tube basin here somewhere, and we have seen Chapeau here somewhere, and uh, we have seen crossing the Atlantic. We have seen ND. seen the Canadian River, actually quite close to ND, it was uh, mm -hmm. here somewhere I think, and um, Stanley Falls, in Congo, and we've seen Red Level, Red Level, I 
using Como. another port of Greensburg, but we seen the line port. And um, Panda, Mozambique. And uh, we've seen Nusa, Kambangan. Trying to find it here, this map, but I can't. Of course, this is not a very detailed map, but here's a word. We should have Nusa Kambanka. So we've seen quite a lot of places by now around the world, but still have a lot of more places to find out. see something has happened to these pages actually I left it out in the rain and when it was dried I think it made really nice sounds This is Gas Lamp ASMR, and I have a geographical search challenge for Let's Find Out ASMR. We are going to turn to a randomly generated page number in the index. This time it's page 441. feature right here. The name is Till, and this is a river in England. Till, a river in England. I'm a big fan of water features and islands, so I'm looking forward to see what Let's Find Out ASMR comes up with for 
till the river in England. Good luck. Okay, gas lamp. Now we have... I have to find the challenge you gave me for the Till River in England. This is... It doesn't seem like it's going to be too difficult. Because England, after all, is only an island. But then again, so is Australia. Technically. So, let's... Let's forego the search in the atlas. And try to find... England. And this atlas is in alphabetical order. So too far. France. Here we go. Ireland. In the UK. And here we are. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a lot. A lot more names than I expected. But it is a river. And can't possibly be too many rivers in England. Can there? Let's find out. Okay. I'll start. So we have whales here. I'll start at the bottom left, southwest corner. We have the tour day. Somerset, Wiltshire, Hampshire, Gloucester, Oxfordshire. I recognize a lot. A lot of the names have been repurposed in America. In the Shire. Here's the, the Thames, I recognize that name, the Medway, St. Ives, huh.
Well, I'm getting stumped. I think I might need to look in the index. Or maybe up here. There's Boston, another English American name. Well, I think I'm going to have to look in the index. Here we go. Page 13. Was that the page I was on? Yeah, it was. Well, it said, I think it said E2. It might have been 5, but if anything, that narrows it down quite a bit. So E2 is all the way up here. And there it is, right all the way at the top on the Scotland. Lamp. That was a really, really good one. That was quite the challenge. So it appears to be a tributary, or at least conjoined with the Scottish Tweed River. So the Tweed River and the Till River flow together out into the North Sea. That was fun. All right. Thanks again for the challenge. All right. Next we have gas lamp ASMR. who also has some very relaxing map videos and he is himself and as is his channel a an apparent connoisseur of not antiquity but uh, retro items. I really enjoy the theme of his channel, which brings out very old retro items, such as gas lamps, and I think his atlas is retro in itself. This one here is from the 80s, but I think his is a little bit older, so we'll have to pick a place that doesn't have high fluctuation in their boundaries between the national borders, such as 
some places in Africa and territory in Eastern Europe. So let's get into it for our gas lamp. This time he is sending us to Perez, Colombia. Perez, Perez, Perez. I took a little bit of Spanish in high school, and I think the Z, the letter Z, the letter Z, Z, is meant to be pronounced like an S. So I think this is Belles, Belles, Colombia, Colombia. Which is this orange country in South America on our world map right here. Now let's see what sort of a search we've been sent on. Will it be another crazy one with latitude and longitude and getting out the calculator? Or will it be straightforward showing up in the index? A real easy one. Well, let's find out. That's funny. All right, let's see if Betis is large enough to appear in our index. Yeah. 
put us on this page somewhere. I think we're in uh, this part of the page. Let's take a let's take a little closer look. Okay. We're in roughly the middle of page 453 of our index. And I think we might be in luck this time. You can see right here in our VEL section, I see a Veles. Veles, Colombia, C O L, with a population, at least in the 1950s, of 4,305. And it looks like this place is on page. 56 of our atlas in section B3 of the map. So we may be in for an easy search for this one. Although I hope I didn't jinx us by saying that. So let's go see if we can find it. So let's flip back to page 56 in search of Venice. Something is very striking to me when I look at the country in a topographic sense like this. And I'll confess that I've not spent a lot of time studying the geography of Colombia. But in this topographic view, it's pretty easy to see that we have a mountainous area here to the north and west. These are the Andes Mountains. And then to the east, this part of the country is relatively flat by comparison. And I think if we asked the question, all other things being equal, 
what is easier terrain to settle. Flat terrain or mountainous terrain. I think most of us would say that flat terrain is easier to settle. But here we see in Colombia that all of the towns and cities are in the highlands of the Andes Mountains. And hardly any of the towns are here in the flat part of the country. Of course, the flat part of the country is dominated by the Amazon rainforest which I'm sure has a significant role in why all of the people are living in the mountains, or at least I assume so. We can see Bogota, the capital city of Colombia is right here. We can see Medellin right here. There are also lots of coastal cities to the north, which is out of frame up here on the uh, Caribbean coast. And this is the Pacific coast here on the western edge. But we're looking for Veles. And our index tells us we should be looking in B3. Well, the B zone is between this line just out of frame this line. And the three zone is from this line to this line. So we're up in here someplace. And I think my eye just fell upon it. Right here. It's it's right on top of a kind of a gray zone in the in the topographic detail so it's a little hard to read but right here at the edge of the pencil it's Venice and the dot is here Venice Colombia in the highlands of the Andes Mountains. I checked this name earlier without really looking at its location just to uh, see what other information there might be about it. And I found that this town was founded in 1539. 1539. And currently has a population upwards of 20,000 people versus the much smaller 1950s figure that was called out in the atlas. And I assume that population growth is um, 
consistent with the entire country as well. But there we have it, folks. Betis, Betis, Colombia. Thank you very much to my friend Let's Find Out ASMR for sending us here today. Hello, this is Gaslamp ASMR with another geographical finding challenge for Tingles with Flyby ASMR. This time we're going to page 216 in our index. That's our random page number and it's very close to the beginning of the atlas. We're looking for our features. Let's try I see a feature here called Arcaig. Again, not sure of the pronunciation, but this is a lake in Scotland. Arcaig, a lake in Scotland. I don't know if this is like some Irish um, names that I've seen where the pronunciation does not seem to match the combination of vowels and consonants that you see in front of you. But uh, and that's why I won't hazard a guess at any alternate pronunciations here. So we're just going to stick with archaic a lake in Scotland. Good luck. just go to the map of Scotland and see if we can find it. Let's try that first, and then I'll check in the index if we don't have any luck. Mm -hmm. So I've actually done a little searching through Scotland. So... Just using this little wand that I made for a Harry Potter video. Uh, my light on Lake Stewart. Morbar, Sheila. Okay, there's a lot of lakes up through here. Da -da -da, Glen Carey. Lake Marie. Lake Ascent. We're looking for a crag. Arbol. Mm-hmm. Lake Mordor. It's a 
sound like Lumi Sure, and we'll see if it's actually going to come up. Because uh, I'm not seeing, I, I'm, I've not seen every lake there, but there's less than I actually thought there might be in here. So it may be worth looking in. straight from Accra in Greece, A-K-R-A, to Akron in Colorado. Okay, I might just see if we can find some latitude and longitude just to perhaps locate it within Scotland where it might be. I'll try not to see any other information besides the latitude and longitude. So, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I found some GPS, well, latitude and longitude, sorry. So we're at 56.966 north. So, that's going to be fairly close to 57 to this line. There it is, like a crag. Why did Oh, it's our cake. I just spelled it wrong. I miss <laughs> Okay. So it, it's our cake. A R Archaic, probably. Archaic, trying to sound Scottish. So there we go. Lake Archaic. Okay, now I have to go and see it in the See where it is in the index. Spelling does matter. And they've got... Where did it go? Archaic. Uh, here. 56, 5, 9. Anyway. And then 5, 10 west. Wikipedia gave 56.966 north and 5.134 west. So, a little bit of difference in there, but... Okay. There it is. Only couldn't find it because of my problem spelling. I didn't quite, because I was looking all along this area, and, well, well, we didn't see, like, Isle, but I saw it right there. I saw these two. We were so close. We had luck. Well, you can also call it Loch. Loch Archaic. Trying to sound a little Scottish, but not too Scottish. Because <laughs> I don't have a Scottish accent. But we have like Loch Isle. Now, this part of Scotland is just littered with lakes. You can just see them everywhere. Just... Our lake. Archive. It looks like it's coming off of this, which I'm not sure if that's all a part of Loch uh, Lin Linny. There's not an extra name here, unless Glenmore. Glenmore. If 
but I think, I think it's probably off of that. But then coming off right here, Loch Archaic. So, there it is, all found. Now, I, something I do like to do is then try to orient ourselves within a larger map. Well, a, a more zoomed out map, so I'm going to try and find it. Uh, I want to find it. So I think right there is Loch Archaic, which if we then zoom out even more, uh, we can't see a lot of our lakes here, so I think I have to compare, because that's the... The one that got to, yeah, it's gonna probably be right around right there. there uh, maybe right there where that G is. Be where the big archive is. And then we can zoom out even more. And look at the world. And we found Lake Archaic probably right about right there. We can actually do pretty well because that big lake. That we were looking at that it's next to, probably right around next, where this little blue line is. So probably right about right there is where Lake Archaic is in the world. Archaic. Loch Archaic. So thank you Gas Lamp for the challenge that I shouldn't have needed to use any Google for, but because of my uh, writing down a crag instead of archive is uh, where I stumbled there. So I'll just show you one more time a nice little zoomed in shot of our lovely Loch Archaic. In beautiful Scotland Lake Country. Loch Archaic. Once again, thank you for the challenge. And the location I challenge you to find is the very first location in my atlas. It's a banya in Spain. I don't know if that A stands for that, but it's just A space B A N Y A in Spain at 4258 North, 846 West. Good luck finding a banya in Spain. Now I will try to find place from this big international atlas that I have and this place is called Abania in Spain.
it's almost sounds almost like apanya, but I think there should be two words, so it's first just an A letter and then space and then panya. So a panya. Not written in one word. Actually, there is a place here, starting with the A, with an A, it's A, Ali, and Nil, A, Ali, and Nil, but then we have no A, Panya, following that name. Aberdeen Lake in Scotland, I guess. Or there are a lot of Aberdeen I can see here in the US. So here's Aberdeen, Scotland in South Africa. But I'm not looking for Aberdeen now. It's Aberist with. I've said that word. Vadi. It's thirteen oh three north and forty five twenty four east. That's not even close to the coordinates that um, I got from Tingles with Flyby, so it's not that place. If I just take a look at the coordinates I got. That was forty two fifty eight north. I guess I first flip to a page where I can see Spain. It's France, Germany, Italy. Forty-two and forty-three, so. and 
then we have 846 so it's actually very close to the Atlantic should be found there somewhere in Galicia Since it's what's not listed in the index in my atlas, I don't think it's. I have a big chance finding it here. So I'm sorry, I couldn't find. 